Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners on the difference between an invoice and a sales receipt. Okay, my name is Matt Holquist. I'm with QuickBooks University. Happy to have you here. And so in your business, whether it's your business or a business you work for uh, or some clients that you have, you know, you really have to think about um, how the business operates before you know what kind of sales form to enter into QuickBooks. All right, so if you have uh, somebody that is billing cost and time and is getting paid at a later date, okay, you're going to use an invoice. All right, so on this front home screen here, you can go here, create invoice. You can also do it under this customer drop down menu, create invoice right here. Okay, so if I go here and I pick, let's say it's uh, Christy Abercrombie, okay? So you're going to see this pops up because we have put time uh, and expense to this customer. Select the outstanding billable time and cost to add to this invoice. Okay, or you can exclude it. All right, so we hit OK. So an invoice is going to be you have done the work or you have delivered the product or service or whatever the case may be. And now you're going to send a bill to your customer. All right, and they're going to pay you at a later date. Okay, so if you have a business where you're getting paid immediately, you're not going to use invoices. Okay, uh, this is only for when you're getting paid at a later date and you need to track, okay, who owes you how much money. All right, so let me clear this out. Let me go back to the home screen over here. All right, so an invoice, again, is when you're getting paid at a later date. So let's take a look at a sales receipt. Okay, so if we go to the customer uh, drop down uh, menu here, and you'll see here there's an enter sales receipts. Okay, now a sales receipt uh, records the same stuff in QuickBooks that an invoice does. The only difference is a sales receipt is when you're getting paid immediately. Okay, so you are not waiting on this customer to pay you at a later date, they are paying you right now. Okay, so if we say, uh, let's say John Smith and he brings a check and you know, I'm gonna Put this to undeposited funds, etc. We're gonna pick our item that he purchases. Let's say he comes in and and um, You know uh, Blueprints, I don't know we give him one set of Blueprints that are some pre-done blueprints. They're 60 bucks and we hit save and close. Okay, so that then is a sales receipt that records right away as revenue and it, you don't show what's called an accounts receivable. You don't show that this customer owes you any money. Okay. So again, let me just recap briefly. An invoice is when a customer owes you this money and a sales receipt is when they come in and pay you immediately. Okay. So now, and I don't want to add confusion to this because um, it, it really depends on your business, but there's some businesses that don't use either an invoice or a sales receipt. And so when you're using QuickBooks, you need to be able to uh, look at the business and, and try to understand, okay, what, what do I use? How do I record my sales in this business? And that's what this comes down to is, how are we going to record the sales in your business? Okay. So businesses typically that are not going to use a sales receipt or an invoice are going to be uh, typically a a retail store that has some outside point of sale system where it's recording all of those individual sales. And at the end of the day or week or whatever, however often you record this, I always recommend on a daily basis, you're going to enter simply a journal entry uh, into QuickBooks to record all of the daily sales. All right. So when that is the case, you're not going to need uh, anything on your item list. Okay, so the item list in this company showing here, these are all the things we sell. But when you have a, um, a retail store that, that you're just entering the summary daily sales information, I have a, a video in the training on this, on how to do this, you're not going to need to do a sales receipt or um, an invoice, and you're really not going to need any items set up. OK, because you're just recording revenue and expenses uh, uh, directly through what's called a journal entry. And it gets a little bit more complicated than that uh, from an accounting standpoint. OK, 
So first things first, when you're really sitting down to record information in QuickBooks, again, for your business or, you know, um, someone you work for, et cetera, you need to figure out, okay, how are we going to record the sales and, and, um, what is the best way to do that? Okay. Again, if, if you bill customers and you're going to get paid later, it's going to be an invoice. If you, uh, sell stuff, point of sale, people walk in, you sell it and you're recording all these sales through QuickBooks, you can do a sales receipt. And if you really don't do either of those and you have a separate system that's recording your sales, uh, then you're going to simply use a journal entry. Okay. So hopefully that uh, clears up any confusion on when you use these different types of forms and how you're going to record your revenue. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, you know, please feel free to leave them below. Uh, also head over to the QuickBooks University, uh, where I uh, train you pretty much everything there is to know about uh, QuickBooks and to answer your personal questions uh, when you become a member, okay? QuickBooks University is qbuniversity.org.